Good morning once again and welcome back to my channel. My name is Doris. Now listen carefully. You have made it through a last season successfully. And this is because you kept your hand in the Lord and because you also allowed him to lead you every step of the way. But you must not keep your eyes on the wrong direction. You must continue to fix your eyes on God. This is the season that you're going to be seeing victory and the floodgates of heaven is going to open above you and you're gonna experience an abundant release of the new come into your life March was a time of small beginnings. April was a time of release of new creative ideas. May was a time of new alignments with people and resources. June was a time that most of us had to work hard. Come July, we started seeing things being perfected and brought to completion. Now, this month of August is going to be marked with new beginnings. And come September, many are going to see the establishment of the new. By October, May Many are going to experience that which was a dream become a reality. I'm going to be expounding more on this. But before we delve deeper into this, please let us pray. Father, I thank you. I bless you. I glorify your name. Lord, thank you for this opportunity to share your word. I pray that this word is going to be a blessing. It's going to be an encouragement and a revelation to somebody. Anoint your word, Lord, even as I release it. And I pray that whoever is going to hear this word, Lord, they shall hear that which you're saying in this hour in Jesus' name. I pray. Amen. In the book of Isaiah chapter 43 verses 18 and 19 it reads do not remember the former things nor consider the things of old. Behold I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. The sons of Issachar had the understanding to discern times and seasons. It was the tribe of prophets and seers. And if you are spiritually alert and sensitive, you are going to always be able to discern when seasons change on when there is a shifting in the season. You see, there is a difference between when a season changes and when there is a shifting within a season. Sometimes most people confuse a shifting in a season with a change of season. They are two different things and you must never confuse that. Okay, you have to understand also as you as an individual, when your season is changing or when God is bringing a shifting in the season that you are in, in your assignment, most of the time, the shifting in a season always comes with a change in assignment or a different direction or a different approach with how God is going to guide you and lead you. Now, when we entered this year, it started real slow. January and February seemed like nothing much was happening and God was calling his people into isolation. God was calling his people into consecration and it seemed like things had stalled, especially in the nature, but a lot was happening spiritually you see it's it seemed like a layback kind of a season that most people found themselves in and nothing much was happening but much small beginnings started taking place and it appeared like there was a sprouting like a budding nothing much really in the natural although spiritually a lot was taking shape and form and when we entered april there was a release of the creative there was a release for a release of creative ideas and if you're very keen or you are the kind of person that journals you are gonna realize that you are pregnant with a certain ideal you are pregnant with a vision or even with a dream now I want you to just flow with me on this spiritually May was a time of new alignments with people and also new alignments with resources. You may have found yourself falling out with some people and being connected with other people. And you may have found yourself identifying identifying places that have resources that before was not visible to you or you are not aware of. But it was like that alignment was coming into your life. 
before you are not able to see this thing it's like suddenly your spiritual eyes were opened and you are able to identify a pl places that you could invest in places that you could identify that there was resources here there was it is a place that you can invest in even financially and you could see that this is this place is economically viable it is something that is is spiritual that you can you can even invest in now june was a time that most people you find you found yourself working hard investing time and uh, connecting with the resources to invest into places that are financially and economically viable and it involved work I'm always very alert and keen in picking up the spiritual dynamics at play in every given season or even in the shifting of seasons. And I always make a point of journaling for reference and also to position in the spirit that is very important because if you have understanding of what is going on in the spiritual you are also able to position yourself effectively in the spirit because remember spiritually positioning is very key being aligned correctly is key to you walking out your blessing to you walking out your purpose to you walking out your destiny god tells us to bring him to remembrance of his word and journaling help you to do exactly that and it also helps you understand the season that you are in as an individual and also as the body of christ cooperately july we started seeing things being perfected and brought to completion now this may have caused some discomfort to most of you you may have seen some doors closing on you some things coming to an end basically that was god trying tying up all the loose ends in your life he says in the book of Psalms 138 and verses 8 that he perfects that which concerns you. God was perfecting everything in your life. He was tying up all the loose ends and bringing everything in alignment according to his purpose and his plan. Now this month of August is going to be marked with new beginnings. When God says he is doing a new thing, it means there is no point of reference. It is something that he has never done before in your life. So you cannot even figure it out. Most people always want to figure out what God is doing. And yet he has already told you that he is doing a new thing. Thing. something new is something that has never been there before now i want to dwell here on the month of august because that is where we are number eight is symbolic of new beginnings and in the old church it represented resurrection it is usually linked to a brighter future new horizons and a new life in general in the bible there is a principle of the eighth son Eight is the one who brings new beginning. I love number eight because for one, I'm the eighth one in my family. And also my last name means one who brings new beginnings. I don't think it was a coincidence, but again, I believe it was by divine orchestration. There is a new, a new that is beginning in your life. That is what the Lord is saying to you. And you are not going to have a point of reference to what God is doing in your life in this season. This new beginning is leading to your breakthrough. The new that is going to be beginning in your life. You are going to be the first in your family to experience it. You are going to be a pathfinder in in your family you are going to become the reference point in your family in your father's house in your bloodline you have been trying to look for a reference point of what god is doing in your life and yet you are the reference point you are the one that god is using in this hour god has already positioned himself where you are going and he has deposited everything you need in your life he pregnanted you with the new and now you are gonna see it come to manifestation in your life
may the lord abundantly bless you i love you so much but the lord he loves you so much more he loves you than everlasting love and there is nothing that can separate you from his love which is in christ jesus thank you for liking for sharing thank you for commenting thank you for giving thank you for subscribing thank you for emailing me please thank you even for for praying for me may the lord abundantly abundantly bless you know that i'm praying also for you and standing with you in prayer shalom